Okay. Hello. That's right. Oh, we're back. We are here. Welcome to Billionaires Are Good, the you greatest podcast right. in the world mm-hmm. uh, that's based around a fact, which is that billionaires are good. Yeah, we need more. And uh, I'll tell yeah. you this, I got none bad. What's I got, that? I got none beloved. No, dude, I love a billionaire. Yeah. I Honestly, love, you know uh, what I think? I think millionaires need to get their shit together. Yeah, totally. And then people like me, who uh, don't even have a million, are fucking losers, dude. I've been saying that. Yeah, man. Me and you and all our friends are yeah. fucking lame, man. You gotta get you gotta get on the grind. That's why we, we talk about billionaires every week on this show. Yeah, we talk about billionaires every week. Yeah. It's a real grind set over here at Billionaires Are Good. Mm-hmm. We think that if you treat everyone like uh, you know they owe you something, that you're great. And your life will be better, and so will mine. Yeah, uh, yeah. You got to get what's yours. I like mean people. I like it when people. <laughs> yeah, I like it when people are rude. I like it when people think that um, the world owes them something. And right. I like it when uh, someone has like way, way more than they need. That's what I like. Yeah. Well, that's what I want. Right. Me too. I want a little more than I need. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I want a lot more. Sometimes, yeah, man. I want to get a Tesla and I want to crash it. <laughs> that's how I want to be. I want to buy an RV. And I want to crash it. <laughs> I want to be that kind of billionaire. I'm going to be such a fucking asshole. And I'm going to be a billionaire. I'm going to be the first billionaire from a podcast. Well, check this out. So mm-hmm. let's say you let's say you steal a Tesla, right? Right. You turn on self-driving. Will it help you run from the cops? Uh, I don't know. That's a good point. Self-driving. Yeah, right? man. Also, when they finally catch you... How will the cops like it when it sounds like they farted? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? You think you can handle that, huh? Dude, I told you when I rented that Tesla, right, that it like my entire family was like, let's make it fart. Yeah, of you course. Know? It was so insane. Like The children loved it. The old people loved it. And the fart button, it's like... A stupid thing, but it hundred percent effective with like people running out of the house like, Let me get my shoes on, I wanna make it fart. Yeah, it's the only thing the car is for. <laughs> and we're back. There's a little blip uh in the video edit uh That's because, where we had to go make some money. Yeah, we had to go make a billion dollars. And I had to scratch my balls, dude. Oh we're we're in the I'd say we're in the manosphere. Yeah, dude. Well, at least we want to be. Yeah, that's right. Dude, we are men. Yeah, welcome to the manosphere, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready yeah, to dude. fucking be upset. That's um, right. Oh god. Someone's got something that you don't have. I I really man, I think a lot of people thought this too. I thought I legitimately believed that we were going to like evolve past the manosphere. I just thought no. that like like when I was a kid, I remember seeing truck ads, like ads for trucks. Yeah. It would just be like a truck slow mo <laughs> driving through like a muddy puddle. And then it would just be like, GMC, you're gay, Dave. <laughs> you're gay. <laughs> That's how it felt. And I was just like, this sucks. I hate this. And then like all uh, all music was like, fuck you, Dave. Right, you're a right. pussy. And, uh, and then I just really thought that like a lot of people felt that way and we were going to grow out of it. No. But the more that some people grew out of it, the more other people have clung to it uh, right. as if... Uh, they'll die without it. Well, the only thing that changes is pants get big and then they get little again. Yeah. But people, you know, like like on, now on TikTok, there's a whole generation of ladies who are like, I think I came up with something. I cook for my husband. You believe that? And then wow. everybody's like, whoa, this fucking, wow, triad. It's like, <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. I don't think you invented shit. It's I just also like the love it, like, sh- old shit. Gen Z's reaction to... Uh, everything that they have consumed is they're like you know what we're gonna we're gonna not curse not get tattoos and not have sex it's whoa just like, yeah you're just doing what my grandfather did <laughs> uh yeah. was it you that i was talking to about this too that like uh the that thing about gen z not having sex mm-hmm. it's totally plausible that it's not that they weren't having sex it, that because it's like they're they're saying now that Gen Z is having the least sex of any of the generations, mm-hmm. um, but like millennials, 
there's no way that we had a lot of sex. We were just like, we just wanted to be cool so bad that they were like, are you having sex? And we're like, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, I'm having sex right now. I'm having sex all the time. <laughs> I have so much sex, dude. I haven't had, I haven't jerked off in so long. Right. You know? People forget about lies. Yeah, and, dude. Uh, you got to factor kids, that in. Kids lie all the time. Right. And they're busy. And they're, they're, should they be getting late? It's like, they're, they're supposed to be learning, right? Yeah. I don't know. Did you steal? Were you a steal, stealing kind of guy? Here's the thing I would do. Uh, and you I steal women's hearts yes. <laughs> and boys, <laughs> girls and boys, the so world I over. I used to go to a gas station and I would buy stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I like the ranch used to be free. It used to be you go like, and okay, eat some ranch, and then they started it was like fifty cents for ranch. And I remember being like, well, I don't agree with that price. Mm-hmm. So I will c- just steal. I'll buy all the other stuff. I'll spend like twenty bucks, but I will take the ranch. Oh wow! And uh, I was explaining it to my Did you get away with it. Yeah, the whole time. But wow. uh, I was my friend Blake was like, "Well, that's stealing." And I was like, "No, it used to be free, and now it's fifty cents." So I don't think it, I think it should still be free. And he goes like, "You, you're fucking that's crazy." Stupid. I mean, that is stealing. But who cares? But it took me. I did it for a while. From where could, were you stealing? Uh, this was a gas station. Oh, from a gas station, right? I guess right. that is. Bad. And I guess in my head, I was just like, "They're fine." And it, <laughs> like, I was so stupid that he was like, "Well, that is bad." It mm. is sti- like whatever, do it, but you can't tell yourself it's not stealing. But after right. that, I stopped stealing. Yeah, yeah. I went through a period, a sh- like a short period of time in college where I would steal. Ooh, what would you get? I would like steal. Whenever I went to a party, I would steal something <laughs> from a person. Okay, it was wrong. Okay, it was wrong. That's I shouldn't wrong. have done it. That's wrong. And you know, look, what I mean, you get? like liquor mostly. Well, that's yeah. You know, totally not a big deal. It's okay to steal mm-hmm. something someone shouldn't have. And then the world, it all came back around. I like, um, so when I was, a f- sophomore, I think in college, I went home for winter break and I, um, well, I did donuts in an icy parking lot in my mother's car and I, um, uh, crashed into another car and Whoa. I knocked over a stop sign and I got banned from Siena college for life. Damn. And I know. I was a real, like, I really wanted to, I never, like, hurt anyone, and I never, like, it's weird because in my mind, I was not cool. I was like a loser who everyone hated. Yeah, yeah. And I was trying to prove to myself that I was fun and cool, like, in the movies or whatever. Like, and I okay. wanted to be punk. And so I, like, with my friends, we would do dumb shit, like, um... You know, like throw trash cans at other trash cans and just watch them explode. Oh, that's part of that is just uh, (laughs) being a kid. Being a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And so, yeah, I just did like donuts in this icy parking lot, having like driven back with my friends from a place. And uh, we were going to crash in my friend's place. And then I just like skidded out and crashed into a car. And then we (laughs) I like. We were so freaked out that I got out and looked at the car, and it was a Subaru. It was like a fucking tank. Like, nothing mm. happened to it. And so we just went to bed, and in the morning, I couldn't find the car. I went to report it stolen. Oh, boy. And I reported... I, like, parked the car in a lot and didn't realize it was in front of a police station. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was... Wow. The campus police station. There was no one else in the... Lo- and I, like, walked in, and I went to report the car stolen, and the woman behind the counter was like, what kind of car is it? And uh, I told her, and she was like, hold on. And she, like, picked up a phone and made a call, and she was like, yeah, the um, the director wants to see you. And I was like, the director? Oh. And I was with my buddy, Lewis, and we go into the back, and he was the director of campus pl- public safety. He was a campus cop. Uh. And, uh, and he showed me a video of mm-hmm. me doing the donuts. <laughs> 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 And uh, and the whole time, my <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, and this is like a movie. Yeah, totally. No, I just like really wanted to, because I also like I never once cut school. I was like a straight A student. I graduated second in my class. Mm-hmm. I was afraid all the time. Yeah. I was like really worried. Uh, and I like even before that, like I. I was a tiny little kid who who just like I, I felt very bullied and like, you know, so so I think once I started hitting like 
16 or 17 and I was going to punk shows and I had a little group of friends. I was like, no, I'm 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 fucking I'm cool, too. I can be cool. <laughs> Doing donuts, and, dude, um, and forgetting it. <laughs> and the weird thing is that, like, I it never occurred to me that, like, it doesn't matter how you feel on the inside. Whatever you do is what you do. And so mm -hmm. I was the exact same as these, like, kids right. that were fucking being crazy. Mm -hmm. I was just worried the whole time. <laughs> and uh, so, and my buddy Lewis is, like, one of my best friends to this day. And he's, like, a, he's a fucking, he has a good time. And, mm -hmm. uh... He had he was going on a ski trip. Him and his brother were leaving for a ski trip that day at like noon. And the bus was picking them up from their college. And I guess the bus was there. And I'm literally like sitting in this office with Lewis. And I'm just like watching a video of me crashing my mom's car. And I'm just getting like chewed the fuck out by this adult who like is so mad at me mm -hmm. and uh you know which makes sense because i committed a crime yeah and then i i and then i snitched on myself and uh because he's just like wow this guy is like a maniac and a fucking moron at the same time and in the middle of like him like lecturing me on how wrong it was and how like were you drunk were you drunk just like yelling at me lou leans over and he goes how long do you think this is going <laughs> <laughs> Tight schedule. <laughs> I got a lot I gotta do. I was here. like, if you want to go, just fucking go, oh, dude. <laughs> and so they gave me a pink piece of paper that was a certificate of persona non grata from Siena oh, College no. for life. And I, of course, being the jag off I was, I framed it. Oh my god! And I put it on the wall of my house, and we threw a party, and someone stole it. What? Yeah, isn't that funny? Dude, that's the most poetic. Uh... <laughs> I know, dude. Yeah. I love that they use, when you use Latin, it makes it. They're saying fuck Persona off. Persona non grata. Leave. <laughs> yeah, dude. Don't come back. We hate you. Persona non like, What are you doing? They here? gave me a certificate of we hate you. <laughs> yeah, I want to make some Caleb hates you certificates for people. You Caleb know? hates you. Nah. No, I know, no, dude. I love isn't everybody. That? That's why we have the best podcast on the internet. Dude. That's right. We uh, at billionaires are good on the social yeah. medias. Billionairesaregood.com, patreon.com slash billionaires are good. Um, I uh, you know what? I don't know. I haven't remade our shop Ooh, yet. But we have some good stuff in there. Yeah, we do. So shop dot what's it called dot rodeo, though I maybe it's changed to shop dot billionaires are good dot com. Try them both. We'll have it all together within the next yeah, handful of weeks. Yeah, we just um, got to get this money. We used to be What's It Called, and now we're billionaires are good. That's happily. right, baby. Very proud. It's the best day of my life. That's right. Every day is. Not Hell me, though. Yeah. Uh, what's up with you, dude? Dude. You going to do uh, stuff Oh, soon? I'm doing all kinds Anywhere? of shit. I'm doing tour. I'm touring all over the world. I'm a Prairie Street Brewing in Rockford, Illinois, September 13th. Poor House Music Hall in Raleigh, North Carolina, September 29th. Denver Comedy Lounge, October 4th and 5th. Comedy Nest in Montreal, October 24th and 26th. Alameda Comedy Club in Alameda, California, November 1st and 2nd. Denver Comedy Underground, November 8th and 9th. Planet mm -hmm. of the Tapes, November 15th and 16th. Oh, uh, Comic Sense at the Bold Dorado, uh, December 5th through the 7th. Uh, Go Bananas in Cincinnati, Ohio, December 12th through the 15th. And The Riot in Houston, uh, December 20th through the 21st. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. It's and I will be, be at Go Bananas in the middle of October and then at the Fest in Gainesville, Florida. And that's all the touring I've got for the rest of the year. I'm also uh, taking off stand-up between now and then, but I'll be back to doing shows in New York City after that. Hell yeah, dude. I'm at Dave to the Ross if you want to come see me or see my shit online. Come see his shit. Yeah, dude. And we are talking about fucking Jeff. Bezos. Hell this yeah. Week. What Number a, the second two richest man. What a loser this I guy know, is. I know. What a bitch. How much is he up to? Uh, 173, 173 billion. billion. Taxes eat that up. Yeah, dude. It's going to be 171 billion. Oh, my in God. No time. I know. I bet you that guy doesn't even have 15 houses. <laughs> <laughs> he probably has 14 houses. Yeah, I Man. wonder how many it actually is. Isn't it just every house is kind of his at this point? I suppose so. Yeah, I mean, he does own lots and lots of vans. Right, I see him. At the him. very least. I see and him boxes. Around. Vans and boxes, and he he uh, he causes, um, his business causes women to have miscarriages. And so <laughs> uh, he does, 
He owns a handful of uteruses as well. <laughs> Isn't He's it funny great. how, like, some people hate Elon Musk, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll be like, well, I'm not getting on Twitter. I'm not driving a Tesla. But no one I've ever met is like, and that's why I don't have Amazon Prime. Actually, never I met that don't person. have Amazon what? Prime for this reason. Yeah, I fucking hate you. You're the first one I've met. Here's the problem, though. I still have to order from Amazon <laughs> sometimes. And the thing is that, like, it doesn't. It, yeah. There's still free shipping, but you have to. I, my baggages come in like seven or eight days now. Mm -hmm. But only if I order over thirty five dollars worth of stuff. I will say it does some great things for me. It makes me not order from Amazon whenever I can. Mm -hmm. Um. And it's taught me once again that packages take a little while. <laughs> you remember how my your whole life packages <laughs> took a little while, which made logical sense to anyone right. with half a brain because it's a it's like a shirt that is going from Tennessee to California. It shouldn't take one day, and you should be comfortable with it taking seven days. <laughs> 30 days even like we're literally in a world yeah. where it was pretty recent that it took a really right. long time to get from Tennessee to California. Just one person. Yeah. Wasn't know? it uh, when you had the book fair or you'd like order a book in school when you were a kid and it would oh, take, yeah. forever, it would take forever, it would take forever. I would look, it would be like Christmas. You just look forward to it. You'd be like, oh, I got a book coming. You got one book, one book. Yeah. One totally. thin paperback mm -hmm. is going to come in the mail in six months. Yeah, it is weird. Yeah, it used to take four weeks to make dinner. That's true. That's true. That's true, man. Here's what I've noticed. You know how people say you got to not do Amazon. You got to, you know, support your local business, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, when you go to the local business, you ever go to one of these things? <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, my God. It's a nightmare. What's a nightmare? I want to support them, but, uh, you know, they don't have anything that I Yeah, need. they don't have anything. I mean... <laughs> They don't have anything you need. It's also like we live in this world. I mean, no, I am very much a support local business. Right. One, of the, one of the other reasons I love New York because it's just easier to do that. Also, mm -hmm. New York is not really set up to have huge stores, which That's is true. why there's fucking bodegas everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I just like have to go to a bodega to get like rice or whatever, yeah, yeah. which feels better, though. It is interesting. Like a, a six pack of Modelo costs like 15, 16 million dollars. Right. You know? And uh, you're just like, well, that's my spending for the month. Well, see, I'm never go uh, <laughs> looking like I never get stuff like rice on Amazon. I always get that from like a little little store, mm -hmm. you know, that's like mom and pop. But like it always bugs me when I'll be like, I need a reading light. Yeah. And then I'll go to a store and I'll go, where's your reading lights? And they're like, we don't have them. Get them on oh, Amazon. And I'll be like, don't tell me to get it on Amazon. And they're like, well, we don't. All we have is rice. Allie has a great joke about this, about how she hates and it. Look, follower at it's Ali O'Neill, very funny comic that I sometimes kiss. Bad podcast. Bad podcast. Bad podcast. Yeah, horrible person too. Mm. Just awful. Yeah. God, I love her. Too small. Yeah, I know, man. Uh, <laughs> she fits in a matchbox. It's so bizarre. I'm I'm scared I'm gonna kill her with my foot. <laughs> uh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and she likes to hide from me. You know. <laughs> My girlfriend's First girl, always <laughs> hiding. She's always hiding. Well, she fits in a keyhole. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks, dude. Everyone from Boston is tiny, man. That's so true. Yeah, she takes a bath in a pen cap. <laughs> 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 she, she likes to hang out with all these mice. All her best friends are mice. You believe that? Can you believe that? <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Dude, don't even get me started on what happens when I buy a, one of those... Uh, Blocks of cheese with holes in it. First of all, she's fucking hanging out in there, in the holes. Then I find out she's eating the cheese from the inside. It's like, good lord, woman, I love you. Why are you doing this to me? Fuck. Women, dude. Women, dude. They're so small, they fit inside a cheese. <laughs> Can't live with them. Can't find them. Where are they? <laughs> Can't live with them, can't find them. That's going to be. <laughs> That's going to catch on. I think all guys can relate to that. Where'd she go, man? <laughs> well, she might be married to someone else. I noticed this the other day. Me and Jenny were at Trader Joe's, and she went and looked for something, and I was in a, and then I tried to find her. And I was like, you can't. There, every Trader Joe's is full of, like, at least 
a hundred ladies that look exactly mm-hmm. like every woman. Yeah, so I it's know. impossible. It was like Indiana Jones with the baskets. I was like, what the fuck? I'm totally. just gonna have to call her on the phone. Um, yeah, that's why when Allie and I go grocery shopping, I put a bell around her neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you got. That's how you got to let these ladies know, dude. Yeah, dude. Let them know who's in charge. She's like, "Can I put a bell around your neck?" And I'm like, "No, <laughs> of course not." <laughs> the bell was my idea. <laughs> well, we're just like both gonna be dingling around this Whole Foods. I don't think so. <laughs> also, you're microscopic. Everyone know. knows where I am. She I'm fucking huge. Smaller than the bell. Um, but no, she has this great joke uh, that's about, she's like, I hate bookstores. And I'm, Allie, I'm so sorry to brutalize your joke. Watch her do stand up. She's good at it. Very and, funny lady. <laughs> and the joke is like, I hate bookstores. Every time I go into a bookstore, I'm like, do you have this book? And they're like, no, we can order it. And I'm like, I can order it. <laughs> 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 it's true. It's like, Everywhere is ordering it. That happened to me during mm-hmm. COVID, right? So it was like the thick of COVID when it was real, real lockdown. So I go to like a local comic book shop with my mask on, you know, mm-hmm. and I'm like, hello. Because um, <laughs> I'd read my favorite comic when I was a, like a little kid was the death of Superman. Mm. But I never finished it. So Superman just dies. And they're like, to be continued. And back then it was like, well, I'll never have $30 to find out how. <laughs> <laughs> right. What happens to dead <laughs> Superman? Does he stay dead? What happens? Yeah, yeah. So I go, do you have the next one after the death of Superman? They're like, no, we can order it. And I'm already embarrassed to be like a 30-year-old man being like, <laughs> do you have? <laughs> right. <laughs> and so I'm not even kidding. It took like five months. Jesus, But dude. I was like, you know, I want to support this local. I want there to be comic book shops, you know, in, mm-hmm. in the world. But it took like five months. So like yeah. once a month I would show back up and go, hey, do um, you have it? Is it here yet? And then they'd be like, what? And it'd be a different employee. I'd have to go, uh-huh. I uh, ordered... <laughs> Dude, I ordered a comic book and I just felt like such a loser. And That's it, so uh, crazy, too, because you could order it and get it in two days. Right, right. And your patience should be exhausted with a business after after two days. Honestly, mm. just do it. I'm giving you my business. Here's right. the other thing I'll say. Like, I, And, you know, look, we're being a little I understand it's difficult to run a business. I run a fucking business. I ostensibly run like five businesses, actually, and they're Hell all yeah. failing. <laughs> no, dude. They're all great. They make a good product, but they're not. It's not a salient uh, business model that I have created, you know. But look, we don't need to talk about that now. Um, one day, though, they're going to be like, "Do you hear that Dave started stand up in his garage?" Yeah, um, yeah. That's, how, that's the only place to book him. I fucking hate Jeff Bezos. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, so I know it's difficult, and 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 so many things about it are difficult. But I got to tell you. The main appeal, you can't act like this shit where, like, people have to support local businesses. I agree, but people are busy, and they have kids and stuff, and we live in a world with Amazon and Walmart and Target and Mm -hmm. Ralph's and shit, and so that's the amount of thing, that's the amount that things cost. That's the amount that people are expected to pay based on the, you know, the salary that they're given or whatever. So... If it costs more, and you have to, and it's going to, if it's a small business, right? You have to offer them something, and the thing that you offer as a local business is accessibility and community, and yeah, like your good nature and knowing each other. And so my problem, like honestly, if I go into a local business and they don't give me any attention, I never go back in there. Yeah, and I think it's because. I'm going out of my fucking way to do this. Right. I and, walked here. Yeah. There is a, literally, this is true. There is a cheese shop by my house. And man, I love a good cheese. Yeah, me too. But I can't afford it very regularly. Mm-hmm. Every now and then I'll be like, you know what, man? I'm going to get some nice crackers and some good cheese and I'm going to fucking eat that shit. And um, I was like, dude, there's a little cheese shop. I'm going to go make a relationship with my local cheese shop. The woman behind the counter was like, yeah. Oh, boy. And I was like, oh, I'm never coming back here. I'm getting my cheese from the grocery store. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, that's the only thing right, that right. I'm interested in at this place. And I'm like, really, I know I'm probably sounding like a demanding cunt. Like, some people just don't have it in them. But, like, we're out here in oh, the dude, world. We, Make it a community, man. When we were at McDonald's, remember that? Me and Dave were like, yeah, oh, we both like uh, large diet Cokes. <laughs> 
So no, I ordered from the like the robot thing, the yeah, big uh, the big the iPad big robot, and uh, I got like a sandwich and the, and a diet coke, and he got a diet coke. They brought my food out, and then the guy was like, uh, you're, "We're still waiting on your drinks." I thought he said working on it, working on your drinks, which blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, it's in progress. <laughs> yeah, you're building the coke. Are they close to full? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean you're in? They're working. We're working on. We're those. working on. Oh man. Our machine is slow. Yeah, uh, what the? F- and I look back, I can see the machine. No one's see, No one's it. working on it. Yeah, and then finally we just stood there, and then a another woman walked up and was like, "Hey, I'm waiting for my drink. I think all these people are waiting for their drinks." And pointed at us, and we're like, "These two guys have been waiting for your, their drinks a long time." And then the guy goes, "Well, we're fixing the machine." Like all pissed off, and we're we're just like, "Well, first of all, you didn't tell us, right? And secondly, if you're fixing the machine." Give me my fucking money back, and I'll right, just leave. Right, just tell me the machine, <laughs> say we can't give you a Coke right now. I don't right care. Yeah. I don't need a Diet Coke. But, yeah, it's like it was such a uh, – and, look, I've had minimum wage jobs, a million of them. And uh, I, I know sometimes it's hard. I'm not a good actor. Sometimes it's hard to act like you're in a good mood. Totally. But you don't have to actively <laughs> – you, you know. don't have to – yeah. And, look, like, that's the thing. Like, I feel a little bad bitching about that because I also know, like, that – employee of that place that I was bitching about probably was just an employee, not the owner. They don't have an investment. It's just their job. They're trying to make it through the day. We all have tough days and on and on and on, I know. Mm -hmm. But, like, I really feel very us v. them about this. Yeah. we Put the machine out here and let me get it. Dude, let's treat those of us who are out in the world doing things, let's take care of each other and want to be there. Mm-hmm. Because everybody else is like sitting in front of their TV waiting for the packages to come. <laughs> you know who's doing great though is uh, barbers. Oh yeah, uh, and I don't know what it is, but uh, every time I get a haircut, like I don't think Amazon's gonna get. Th- th- there's not gonna be Amazon haircuts. Yeah, I don't know. Like I like the conversation. I like the. I so like I. you know they're touching my neck. It feels nice. Whenever uh, someone invents a machine that you can program it to cut your hair. Then this that'll start to be a worry because people will do that immediately. Oh no! I hope that doesn't happen. It's that's one of my favorite things. Where it's like time for a haircut. I walk yeah, down dude. to go get my haircut. You know they always try to upsell me. Like, hey, do you want a, uh, some shampoo? That's uh, fifty bucks. Want me no. to paint your dick? <laughs> Please don't, <laughs> but dude. I got one on, like a block mm-hmm. from here near that McDonald's we went to, mm-hmm. and they you so they they use the clippers, they use the scissors, then they get. Uh, a straight razor. Oh, that shit rules! And man. they do that, and they get all everything's all lined up, all nice, and yeah. uh, and then they give me a hot towel. You know, they're like rubbing my shoulder. It's like incredible, and it was like a like a little mini spa day. Yeah, it's, you know? it is. It's a little mini spa oh. day. You know what I want? The only thing I'm missing is I wish the barber right at the end and give you a little kiss. Well, you know, right you're on in that. luck, Dave. Re- oh yeah, supercuts needs business, dude. Well, you know supercuts I mean? has a there's a major flaw. Uh, in Supercut's business model. And it's that a haircut should not cost $4. Well. It, you, the, <laughs> they pay the person cutting the hair like the amount a kid gets paid to sell <laughs> lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. That's what I mean, though. <laughs> and they're so nice. Is that where you went? Super I go. Cuts? I go to Supercuts. I go to Sports Clips. I go to all the big chains yeah. that exploit the workers. It, what does it cost now to get a haircut? Uh, there? I would say around thirty. Oh yeah! Wow, that not is bad. cheap. Not dude. bad. Uh, and man, it's sports. They they have a little massage gun. They're like massaging you. And, Damn, uh, man. I mean, I go great. to a place that costs more than that, and they do all that stuff too. Dude, I didn't think I, they did that. At when I was in New York, I got my hair cut at one of these Brooklyn spots. They gave me a beer, dude. It was great. I love it, man. That is okay. That is one of the environments in which I'm down with the manosphere. I'm not always down. Like some of them are too mannish. Like there's this one uh, when I was living over near Fairfax. I went to this place called Daniel Alfonso Mensalon. Mm -hmm. And there's just like a bull skull on the wall. Cool. And you sit in a, it was not cool. It was too manly. It was like, you sat in like a wood painted black throne. And um, I got it. I'm liking everything you're so liking far. It. Well, everyone in there was an asshole. Does that help? Love and they're it. They're just like blasting ACDC. I'm like, what Dude, the fuck? Sweet. But like, 
there's a lesser <laughs> version of that. You just go to a barber shop, yeah. and you know it's all like black and gold, and they have like those uh, haircuts that looks like their face is painted, mm-hmm. uh, and they're like their head is the shape of a bowling ball, but they've made it look like a huge rectangle because their hair is so <laughs> tall, uh, and they're all wearing a fucking apron. They're wearing like a jean apron, of, and they have like the curly mustache yeah. and like some bourbon and uh, bourbon. You know, so yeah. that's that environment. Not over the top. I'm down. And they're like, only dudes in here. We cut dudes hair. That's right. what we do. Do you want a beer? Uh, who's your team? You want to watch the game? I'm right. down, man. I let's think, go. Yeah, let's no, go. But the thing that blows to me is that, like, we're comedians, you know. We're working on podcasts. We're doing stand-up, you know. Like, mm-hmm. there's not many. There's not a lot of room. So it's like, most days I don't have time. Like, I like all the man stuff. I like uh, fishing and hunting and yeah. sports and all that. But I don't have time to follow sports. I don't know how people do it. It's like I do stand up. We do the podcast. I go to the store. I eat stuff. You know, if I'm, you know, I like movies, mm-hmm. but I don't know how you do add. I don't know where to add in watching a hundred baseball games a year. There's mm-hmm. no time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dude, I, this is actually a fun, uh, a good moment to bring up. I looked this up earlier today. Doug Emhoff. Did you know this? Ooh. Kamala Harris's husband, prospective first gentleman. Mm hmm. He just this year applied uh, to be a ball boy for the Yankees. That's true. <laughs> Doug, 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 Doug facts. Doug facts. He wants to be a ball boy. Yeah, he's done with the law. Yeah. Yeah, first ball boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you know there's another Doug fact? Get re- let's get ready, everybody. Ready for another Doug fact? Doug facts. He's had sex with more than one woman. Oh, my God. Doug facts. Good. Oh, I love you, Doug. Isn't that, Doug, 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 doesn't that blow Doug, your Doug, mind? Doug Facts. Doug Facts. Doug Facts. Doug, 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 Doug Facts. Doug Facts. Doug, Doug Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Has he actually had sex with more than one woman? Yes. Who? Kamala? Uh, no, no, they another had one. I don't, well, okay, that's uh, unconfirmed. Oh, right. No, he... He said he's taking it slow. Kamala is his second wife. That's right. That's right. Isn't that wild? That is so crazy. Doug is out here. Dude. Yeah, man. Did you know that his first wife was Maria Bamford? Doug facts. <laughs> crazy, dude. No wonder she had that meltdown. You know? <laughs> Doug, Doug, Doug facts. Doug facts. That would be tough on anybody. Oh, man. Like, hey, Maria, how are you doing? It's good to see you. And she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I can't believe I married this circus clown. <laughs> Oh, he really Doug. just seems jolly. He really does. He does. Yeah. Well, he's had a hell of a ride. Like, <laughs> yeah. life turning out like this. We've all been Wait, on what? dates with Dude. ladies. They don't usually start <laughs> running for president after it. I Dude, mean, the their blind first date, date beginning. Wow. I hope they met on Hinge, Dude, That's so funny. If they met on Tinder, it would have been possible because it was, what, like 10 years ago? Um, he's just like, so what's up with you? What do you do? And she's like, uh, you know, I'm a district attorney. Wow, really? <laughs> That's cool, man. That is cool. That's not what I do. I <laughs> sue people that can't afford their medications. <laughs> a lot of money in it. I am It's rich. going great. Yeah, it's going great. I am we had a very good happy. Year. My wife divorced me because uh, she couldn't take it anymore. But, you know... <laughs> I don't really know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny because, like, you know, Eva Mendez is with Ryan Gosling, you know. Mm-hmm. Beyonce is with Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. And Kamala is this, you know, h- history-making, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know. And she's with Doug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doug. It, it's just very funny. I don't know. He's probably, like, it's probably nice to be around Doug. It must be. I, I, he mu- he's got to be. There's got to be something we don't see. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Look, dude, there is a lot of appeal in being around someone with a positive attitude. <laughs> like, really? I don't know, man. I'm a big Doug fan. Uh, <laughs> it would be uh, like if you just told me, like, uh, so I just went on a date with Taylor Swift. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. And you'd be like, she's cool. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, I'm going to ask her out again. Yeah, I think we're like, going to go on what? a second date. <laughs> uh I'm a little afraid she's going to write a whole album about me that will be negative. (laughs) I'm a little afraid that our relationship is going to inspire a generation of women to hate their boyfriend, but um, (laughs) fuck. 
I don't know, man. I like her. She's a lot of fun. Loves laser tag. Did you know that? <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah. Well, it might happen. We'll see. Yeah. Did you know that Doug collects Beanie Babies? Oh. Go oh, Doug. Yeah. You know, dude. you got to be you. <laughs> you got to, you know, get after what you really like, you know, no matter what anybody says. <laughs> That's right. That's what dude. I say. Uh, okay, speaking of Jeff Bezos. Oh, shit. Is this billionaire hotter than Sylvester Stallone? Uh, I'm going to say no, because uh, Sylvester Stallone, he, he looks rough and ragged, but, uh, you know, Bezos doesn't have the riz, I'll tell you that. That's exactly what it is. And, you know, last episode I was trying to describe how uh, Sylvester Stallone, you know, even though he looks like a snowman made of old leather... <laughs> Uh, he yeah. still is kind of hot, and it's the Riz. That's what it is. Yeah, you're right. It That's is the Riz. The Riz is. Yeah, and Bezos, it's also, you know, with me finding someone attractive, it goes a long way if I don't hate you completely. Right. You know? It's not really hot, in my opinion, to be like a demon from hell. Well, that's where we're going to differ, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are really attracted to a demon from hell. Well, dude. one of my first crushes as a small child was uh, the water boy's uh, girlfriend. Oh, uh, yeah. She was really hot. Yeah. Looks like a demon from hell. Does she? Wait, are you kidding me? What? Are you serious? The water boy's girlfriend? Wasn't she just a hot girl? What? For, what's her name? Feruza Balk? I'm always serious. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was Siri. What? Somehow that was uh, when I said, I think I said you can't be serious, and I think Siri thought it was uh, us talking to Siri. Isn't that but funny? how did Siri get into the recording of our podcast? Well, because the singularity exists, Dave. Wait, no, Caleb, I mean this. What the fuck was that? That I, was crazy. That was. You don't even have a... How was that possible? Maybe it was your laptop, Siri. It must have. Oh, yeah. it was my laptop, Siri. Or we're fucked. Okay. Or it's, uh, you know, Skynet time. I don't know. Whoa. And it said, I'm always serious, Dave. Fuck you, Siri. That's, uh, that's a little. You know, the name of the computer in 2001 is Dave. No, it's Hal. Never mind. Siri. No, Dave's the name of the guy who Hal kills. Siri, are you okay? I'm always pretty good. Are you doing all right? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. She just went away. <laughs> she didn't like that. Wow. She did not Ugh, like I that. I hated that. That really bothered me. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. Uh, you know, we can't get away from it. And it's too late, and uh, we should have stopped it, but what are you going to do? <laughs> oh, that's right. Do you yeah. have any thoughts, uh, closing thoughts on Bezos, bud? Uh, well, I think he... Here's what I'm fascinated about this guy by, is that... He his business model is for them to lose money, mm -hmm. which uh, that's when I get really stupid when it comes to stuff where I'm like, well, that sounds bad. But it's like where he's like, no, you just reinvest all your profits. And then I actually don't have any money. I have stock and then I use the loan out of the stock and then the debt and write off. It's just like makes me think that uh, money is not real and somehow he still has uh, all of it. Mm -hmm. Well, they I don't do. understand. Amazon does make tons and tons of money, but they they always technically they're not profitable because they do they don't take you know what I mean. That's what right. he always says is that they they reinvest all they well just they keep make all of their money so off they, of AWS. What's that? It's their like uh, you know I I don't totally understand it, but it's basically like a platform for other businesses to build websites and online stores and then integrate with Amazon. Mm. And so they like created this platform for selling things online and then they have an API, they have a bunch of code and then other companies buy it from them and make an online store and uh, everybody uses it. Oh, so like wow. it doesn't even matter if Amazon makes money and they still clearly make money, but yeah, they like just kind of operate and so they can continue to exist at such a high level that their code is what everybody uses. Wow. As far as I understand it. Um, like how for a long time Google AdSense was like the mm -hmm. only thing that made them money. And now Facebook, it's they make their money by like stealing uh, our 
identities. Right, right. <laughs> Look, you gotta make a living. <laughs> I steal people's identities. Living. Okay. Been, look, I started stealing people's data out of the back of my hatchback, you know, <laughs> and now I'm stealing people's identities from Cupertino, California. It is funny mm-hmm. you think about back when weed was illegal. Remember that? And no, uh, no, I remember it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a lot. That was a long time ago, man. <laughs> But yeah, it was illegal, and it was like, well, someone's gonna sell it, and mm-hmm. someone's gonna make the money. Yeah, you know, and it's just nuts that uh, we keep gotta, you know, I, someone's gonna make money stealing your identity. Yeah, dude. Might as well be Might Facebook. As well be, yeah, or you. Why yeah. don't you steal your identity? And but I'm sell like, it. if my identity's worth something, how come I'm not making anything on my? I've identity? always thought about that. Isn't that interesting? Right. Why? Like, wh- what is it for? I don't I'm know. I'm not... I guess a lot of people buy stuff. And you literally just told me that you bought a... Like a... A replication of a prop from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. That's true. I did do that. And probably your info... Meta sold your info to somebody and you saw that ad and then you bought that. Or they... You know, I think a lot of it is they, they know... Uh, I've heard a lot of guys say this about Instagram is that if you're a guy, mm-hmm. they're just going to be like, show him titties. Yeah. And show him ass. And they're, they're like, well, he'll probably click on it and then we'll sell him stuff that way. Man, I have, I get advertised, relentlessly advertised retro gaming systems now. Me too. Me too. And like you have one. I have one. And I haven't bought one because the prices are so variable. And also so many of them are clearly a scam. Like yeah. one is... Nine ninety five for forty thousand games. <laughs> the one I got is is dope, but yeah, I yeah. I only got it because I had a you know a real life that friend one doesn't who, exist anymore. Yeah, yeah. And the exact same thing exists from other companies, but I can't tell which one is a scam or not. Yeah, you got to find one that you've you've interacted with in real life. But the one I got is uh, maybe the best purchase I've ever made in my Dude, life. So solid. But there's oh my god, man. There's some now that claim to have because yours has. PS1 games mm-hmm. and 64 games? No, just Not- PS- PS1, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. So there are ones now that have uh, all of those, PS1, N64, and fucking Dreamcast games. Crazy. And... Uh, I want to get one of those. Dude, I had a Dreamcast. It's so fun. I'm not even like a ha- half of a tenth of a percent through. I've been playing so many games. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's so fun, dude. Yeah. I really, well, I can't recommend it because it doesn't exist anymore. But the thing but I there's got. There's thousands of them. There's oh. some of them that are just a fucking, they look like an Amazon Fire Stick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just a HDMI brick and you put it into your fucking TV. And then it comes with two PlayStation controllers. <laughs> yeah, so, it's crazy. It's so crazy. It's this, It's definitely like just a couple companies doing it, probably in China. Mm-hmm. And they're just getting taken off Amazon like every day. And yeah. then they just start a new... Because the name of the companies are like XLEX3X5. <laughs> That's like Inc. <laughs> and it's got like two reviews on Amazon. <laughs> One of them like somehow hacked the system to make it look like... They're made by Hewlett Packard. Oh, wow. And it has like 7,000 five star reviews. And I saw it today. I was like, this is one I'm going to buy. And then I like go down to the reviews, and it's for a retro gaming console Mm -hmm. that you plug into the back of your TV. And all the reviews are like, I never have to buy cartridges for this printer. Oh, no. (laughs) I don't know how they did it, dude. (laughs) Genius, though. Yeah, just Uh, commit crimes. (laughs) Yeah, dude. Just do crime and lie. Oh, man. Hell Fuck yeah, Jeff dude. Bezos. Yeah, no, I think he's good. Yeah, you're right. He's good. No, I like him. All right, now it's time for uh, Ooh. what we do at the end of every episode. You know what that sound means. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Oh, he doesn't even know what it's called. I know, Chris Cresswell, shout out. Chris Cresswell also wrote 
the new Billionaires Are Good theme song. That's right. That guy fucking rules, man. No, that's a good dude. He's in so many bands. They're all good. Uh, the Flatliners, Hot Water Music, and Melt Away. And I think I'm leaving one out, actually. Yeah. Um, well, join more bands, Chris. Dude, I... he's Get to work. Sweet guy. I opened for him on tour, tour earlier this year. It was dope. Uh, oh, so yeah, the movie dude. that we're talking about uh, this week is Alien Romulus. Which I saw. I saw that movie. Yeah? How'd you feel? I did not like it. Oh, dude, you know what I saw? We already talked about it like a few weeks ago, but um, I saw the new Crow movie. Oh, how is it? It's fucking amazing. Okay. It's getting critically panned, I think. And that makes sense to me because it is kind of like, it is it is a night, it is just like Blade. Mm -hmm. It is a goth action movie that feels like it's from the late 90s because we're just not in an era where people care. And it's a little campy as a result of that. Yeah. And it's just totally on the nose. The guy dies, and then he goes to this, like, uh, limbo, basically. And they're just like, sometimes when something horrible happens, you don't go directly to heaven or hell. You're stuck in limbo, and you got to finish what, uh, you know, right, finish right. your business. It happened to me one time. Yeah. And so it's like. I think people might find it corny, but I don't care. I, I love shit like that. Yeah, critics don't know shit. And they uh, they really built the world really well. And uh, it's like beautiful effects. And he's great. And dude, he's invincible because he's dead. And so it's just a movie where a guy gets shot thousands of times. Love it. At one point, he gets stabbed in the back with a samurai sword. And then he grabs it with his hand and leans forward and stabs a guy in front of him with the so end of the sword that's coming out of his chest. Hell yeah. Dude, it's so much fun. You that's should see That's what I'm talking it. about. Yeah. I um, love the Manosphere. But Alien Romulus fucking sucks. Sucks. Real quick before we get into the names. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jeffrey Wright Report. The Jeffrey Wright Report. <laughs> the Jeffrey Wright Report. The Jeffrey Wright Report. <laughs> he is yeah, not, he's not in an alien, alien Romulus, Romulus <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he is in a lot of movies, and uh, you know, he, yeah. he, he, he's uh, he's a hard worker. So uh, yeah, uh, tune in next week. He, he might be in the might be in the movie of the week next. If week. you've only ever listened to Billionaires Are Good, for Kill and I have had this podcast for three years now under the name What's It Called? We rename shit. Now we're still playing that game at the end of every episode, and if you want to join in, uh, there's an invite to our Discord uh, at billionairesaregood.com, or go to at billionairesaregood on Twitter and uh, jump in and rename shit with us. That's right. It's a lot of fun. We got a lot of people doing it every week, and uh, we did, uh, for this one, we did, uh, if uh, if Alien, Alien, was Alien Romulus was directed by Martin Scorsese. Yeah. Uh, which I thought was a really fun prompt. That's a good game. Yeah. Uh, so starting off number 10 uh, uh, from Twitter, Shibi Carlene said, Killers of the Actual Moon. Dude, that rules. Very fun. I like that a lot. Um, at Darth Plato on Twitter with Ita Italian Romulus. <laughs> Italian Romulus. <laughs> Very clever. Very Hard good. to say. Hard to say. Uh, got Carl Stewart on Discord said, The Departed Microprocesses in Space. Microprocesses. Microprocesses. <laughs> Um, you know, microprocessors, that's what they call my girlfriend. Oh, yeah. living in a matchbox. She's, yeah, she's small and from Boston. <laughs> uh, kick Acetron on Discord with Alien Spaghetti. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, Goog on Discord said, Alien, fuck, 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 and fuck, 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 fuck you, fuck you, cocksucker, fucking fuck. <laughs> uh, Space Bimbo on Discord with Never Ran on Your Friends. Oh, never rat on your friends and always keep the tiny mouth inside your mouth shut. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's great. That's great. Uh, Larry Bellello on Twitter said, game over, fellas. <laughs> that's great. Um, Crete on Discord had, hey, Jimmy, look at this fucking guy. He's got two mouths. <laughs> Pretty good. That's good. Hell yeah, Fondle Crete. Punch on Twitter said, I like this painting. One alien goes one way, the other alien goes the other way. <laughs> At the, one, uh, the one true dog on Discord with, Face fuckers. Oh, man. With the Ricky shit. Now, our that's number ones. what I call a Ricky shit. Face fuckers. <laughs> Look at these face fuckers. Shoot these face fuckers in the fucking face. One thing I'm blown away by Martin Scorsese about is that everybody thinks of him as just the gangster movie guy. Mm -hmm. He only made a... He didn't really make that many. I know. It's just they're very good. 
and uh, like half of his movies are like uh, just a sad lady and the, a Jesus movie and a movie about a priest and like it's very <laughs> funny that he gets he gets because his gangster movies are what Goodfellas, the Casino, de- The Departed. Well, okay, his Italian gangster movies, right? Are and that's that's a stereotype. Goodfellas, Casino, and uh, The Irishman, and that's right. it. And kind of Mean Streets, but uh, mostly I think it's Goodfellas and Casino that really. And he made those like that. ten years apart. Yeah, it was. It's it interesting like, that it became such a. I think everyone know. who doesn't actually know, like most of the world, just thinks he made The Godfather. Right, right. And they thinks he made Scarface which and The Sopranos Italian. and The they, Sopranos. Yeah, yeah. They just lump it in. Totally. Like, Half his Chef Boyardee. Are, Sad ambulance driver, sad taxi driver, sad waitress, sad priest, sad... It's yeah, just dude. sad... It's just sad people. It really is. Slow-paced movies about lonely people. Yeah, like in the... Not that long ago, he made a movie about two priests that were Ooh. sad in Japan <laughs> because they were going to... They were getting tortured. Right. And that and does make you sad. Andrew Garfield and Liam Neeson. I bet that was a ooh. I bet that was a hoot. That's a, <laughs> a lot of <laughs> not a, a lot of pranks. A lot of riffs. Yeah, totally. <laughs> the blooper reel of silence. That's I fun. think my guess is that Liam Neeson has now been the Taken guy for so long that he thinks that he can do karate. <laughs> Just like Ron Perlman. Oh, yeah. Like, once Ron Perlman was in Sons of Anarchy, he just believed he's a badass. No, I know. He really does. And he's just a theater kid. No, he's just a happen. fucking theater kid, dude. That's why I'm glad I can't act. <laughs> oh, know? yeah? Because you don't want to... I would believe it. Yeah, man. I would 100% believe it. I think it. you might get typecast as, like, uh, the husband everyone makes fun of. Though, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. You know. I could easily be the husband in a commercial that doesn't know how a sink works or, or you know. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I'm the fat guy who can't fix a car. <laughs> that's uh, that's what it's gonna, I'm going to end up being on TV. Yeah, dude. Um, I want to be Kevin James when I grow up. Dude, me too. Uh, well, shit, yeah. y'all. We love you so much. Man, this is the best episode we've ever had. Always is. Thank you for listening to Billionaires Are Good, everybody. Thank you. Billionaires Are... God damn it, dude. I love the name. It's a very good name. It's very fun. The show is not different at all, really. No, it isn't. <laughs> but, but it's more fun. Good. It it's is. more fun. It's fun dude. to shit on billion. I love them. No, it's they're fun good. To like billionaire. That's I'm what I'm not like shitting to say. on them at all. It, I like them. I think it's good to have money. Yeah, give yeah. me some. Totally, dude. It doesn't hurt everyone. Yeah, at all. No, I love it. I love it. And before we go, the Ben Shapiro's beard update. Ooh, it's still there. The Ben Shapiro's Beard Update. <laughs> <sighs> uh, yeah, he'll get rid of it one day. Uh, we'll see. Maybe when he's dead. Thank you for listening to Billionaires Are Good, everybody. We love you so much. Bye-bye. Billionaires are good.